Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, this time I'm drawing a trading card style art and it's about Salvadorian mythology. And I'm planning on doing a series for these. And the first one I decided to do something that came from my country. This character is called Cipitillo and he's a very mischievous little boy from our folklore. In a moment you're gonna see me do actually a big mistake that I, it just remains. <laughs> CBD is actually written with a C as in corn and not with a Z as I wrote it. And right there I just used my needle eraser to erase a lot of the graphite. There I am inking that Z. <laughs> CP2 is actually a very fun character and it's actually very well beloved in Salvadorian culture. But um, he is actually very mischievous and you wouldn't actually like meeting him, to be honest, even though we have fun memories of him thanks to a show that we got as kids. I used Hooker's Ring right here for the background because I thought that it was actually more reminiscent of the kind of vegetation that um, tropical places like a Salvador has, even though my gut feeling is always to go with sap green, as that is my preferred green ever. <laughs> And you're also going to see me use turquoise right there and also lay, later on a little bit of dark sun purple just to add a little bit more more layers to the background rather than just you know the hooker's green that is kind of yellow that i've been using for that z and also yellow ochre and those are actually also the colors that i'm using for the bananas which is also known to love And you guys can see that in his design, he's, he has actually, um, his feet are backward. And that's actually because when he was cursed, well, he, he became immortal technically. And he's, he was never to age, which kind of make him, makes him like the Salvadorian Peter Pan, I guess. <laughs> which is kind of cool to think about, really. And, but his feet are actually backwards because um, it helps like with his little mischievous little act oh and right there you guys are seeing me at Chinese white which um, I like to keep in my palette because sometimes you just need that kind of opaque white in your drawing when you're rendering something and it's not the kind of white that you can get when um, you just leave the white of the paper because that's a, that's a different kind of white That is yellow ochre. Oh, and you guys are seeing me take off the tape now because I'm already done with the background so I don't have to worry about the paper warping. So yeah, he would he likes to steal from farmers and because of that, um, farmers would follow the footprints because they would think that it was a regular boy that was trying to sell their crops, but it's actually him and they would follow the, foot the footsteps um, the footprints, they will follow the footprints in the wrong direction <laughs> and he would escape always. Right there with the hat, you guys can see that I'm adding yellow ochre, layers of yellow ochre, burnt umber and a little bit of lemon yellow. His clothes are actually white and I added in a little bit of yellow and also cerulean blue and his skin is burnt sienna, light burnt sienna. And I'm also going to be layering more of the blue into the shadows and even a little bit of the permanent rose to, you know, just to not make just his white clothes look boring because even though it's white, you cannot, white does reflect a lot of colors. That is Van Dyke Brown that I use for his hair actually. I'm using the 1 8 size of a angled brush and that's actually one of my preferred brushes because it, it I just like how how much I can get out of it there's a permanent rose I just like how much I can get out of it when it comes to how my brush strokes are gonna look you can do a lot of detail with the angle point and you can do a lot of big strokes also with it and right there I'm cleaning up the lines 
And you're also going to see me use a wiggle brush in a second. And I like the wiggle brush because you can do very fine detail with it. While at the same time just it holds a lot of paint so you don't have to be, keep reloading your brush. More shading. Just making the clothes a little bit more in contrast, high in contrast. More detail to the hand. And uh, that's really gonna be it for this painting. I'm planning on doing more of these in the future with maybe other mythological characters from El Salvador or from other countries as well. Just a mythological kind of series for these cards. So that was the, my very first speed pin. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and comment. And thank you for watching. Bye!